In John chapter 7, we see Jesus having an exchange with Pharisees, and they're having a disagreement about all kinds of things. But at the end of the day, Jesus says this. He has this, uh, he addresses the, the argument that he has with them in a very interesting way. He says, and this is John 7, 24, he says, Do not judge according to appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. It's a very interesting thing to say. And, you know, here's the here's the down low on what was going on. The Pharisees were always looking for a way to condemn Jesus. They were always looking for somewhere to peg him as a, a bad dude. Um, they were always questioning him. They were always, you know, upset with him. And the truth is that what was driving this, it's documented throughout the Gospels, is jealousy. They were jealous. They didn't like the fact that everybody liked Jesus so much. And they they were upset about it. And so they were always looking for an occasion to, um, you know, challenge him. And he was easily besting them in their arguments over and over and over and confounding them in things and just going, they were, they were having it out time and time again. And, and Jesus basically was intellectually and theologically humiliating them. And you know what? He was doing it in grace. He wasn't doing it to just completely um, humiliate them, but to show them that they were in the wrong. And that eventually he addresses them with the statement, don't judge according to appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. He's basically saying, hey, listen, don't judge based on either how you perceive what's happening around you or what how you feel. Don't go on the physical, right? Don't just judge on the appearance, but go with what is righteous. Righteous judgment. See, this is interesting because I think not only in this world, people have forgotten about righteous judgment, but even in the church, a lot of people have completely lost the concept of what righteous judgment is. And basically what it is, it's evaluating a person's claims based on the fact whether or not they were walking in righteousness when they made the claims, okay? Or whether they're actually pursuing righteousness in their claims, okay? And in this case, these guys were scrutinizing Jesus, but they were not doing it in righteousness. They were, they were, they're scrutinizing him completely out of envy and jealousy. And look, when you identify those things, that muddies, completely muddies the water up. Now, this is why I think this is important today, because Everybody's got some thing going on. Everybody's, there's all kinds of people out there that are going to tell you, here's the thing that you need to be doing right now. Do this, do this, do this, do this, right? All of the, all of that's going to be happening. You're going to see people say, hey, look, don't, don't, you know, anything you can imagine, you know, don't, don't go here, don't go there, don't do this, don't do that. And everybody's got their reasons, right? Then you've got other people that are saying, no, we need to treat these people this way. We need to do this. We, I mean, it, it's, it's getting crazy. Okay. But the thing is, are we using righteous judgment? When we look at these things, are we judging with righteous judgment? And that word righteous there is an important word. Okay. Like, it means something that is very significant in the New Testament sense. It means, are we judging? Are we looking at the situation around us based on what is right according to God's word? Okay. There are far reaching implications with this. And I'm just saying that first of all, another thing pointing us that we need to go know God's word. We need to have it in our brain and in our heart. We need to live by it. 
And then when we evaluate what's going on in the world around us, when we evaluate this or that, we need to do it in light of God's righteous nature and his word, okay? If we just go on appearance, if we just go on face value or whatever, it's guaranteed that we're going to be deceived because we have a knack at looking at the wrong things. We have a knack for tuning into the wrong things. We have to go on God's word. We have to stick to it, okay? And I'm just recommending this. If you want to, at the end of your life, look back and say, you know what? You know, I I'm walked that course and I did it well. You're going to have to learn how to do this. You know, it's interesting. Jesus doesn't say here, you know, hey, who are you, right? Even though he could have, he had the right. But he instead points out the flaw in what they're doing. And he says, hey, by the way, you know, this wouldn't bother me except in this case, except you're not doing it in righteousness. So it's important. This is so important. Please think about this. Make sure how you're making these decisions, how you're evaluating the world around us, you're doing it based on righteousness. You're doing it based on God's word. So there you go. May the Lord richly bless you. Happy Monday as usual. And thanks for watching this. Please take a minute and leave me a comment if it blessed you. Also, um, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you again tomorrow. God bless.